of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 from verse um, 3. Let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, and likewise the wife also to her husband. Verse 4 says, the wife does not have authority over her body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Verse 5. Do not deprive one another, except with consent for a time, that you may give yourself to fasting and prayer, and come together again, so that Satan does not tempt you, because of your lack of self-control. You may be wondering, why the scripture? The scripture I just read now form the basis for the topic I'm, I'd like to consider in this short clip I'm sharing with us. My assignment in life is to make marriage work. I want to see couples live together in harmony, transparency, agape love, enjoying the beauty of marriage, the beauty that God created for the good of his beloved. What are we talking about? Sex in marriage. The word sex sounds like carnality. You said you're a minister of the gospel. Are you sure you're not carnal by mentioning the word sex? Is it an acceptable word in the body of Christ? Yes, beloved of God. Sex is a big deal. It's part of the deal in marriage. I had a story of a man that got married to a beautiful sister, you know, and after the wedding, on the wedding night, the man called his bride to, for them to consummate the wedding. And the woman ran and said, no, sir, I bind you. I bind you, spirit of God. That's carnality. That is a sin. No. I thought you were a holy brother. I thought you were born again. I thought you were strong. I saw you carry. I see you carry Bible in church. You preach. You speak in tongue. You pray. Why sex? Sex is for unbelievers. Blah, blah, blah. And what have you. And that may be the experience of so many people out there. Can I tell you something? Sex is God's idea. Sex is part of the deal. When God said to man, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Procreate. That is the way. There's no way you can procreate without sexual intercourse. There's no way you can have children in marriage without your husband, husband and wife coming together in sexual intercourse. Let's get used to the word. Sex is healthy in the confines of marriage. Questions have been asked. Sex and fasting. What is your take? And I say to us, for me, when it comes to the word of God, the word of God for me is, has a final verdict over any issue. I've had people say to us that when you have ministration as a minister of the gospel, you don't make love to your spouse. You have to remain pure and clean and all that. Some will tell you, how about when I'm fasting or how about when I'm engaging on spiritual assignment or the other. Can I tell you something? The only time that the Bible permits for us to abstain from intercourse as married couples is during fasting. And that also has a clause. Your fasting without your spouse's consent is religious exercise. It amounts to nothing. Before any man or any woman will engage in any fast, in the confines of marriage, you must seek the consent of your spouse. Yes, we are here, we are positioned here to correct some things that have been going wrong in the body of Christ. Before you will engage in anything praying and fasting, abstinence, you must engage and get the consent of your spouse. Otherwise, I say it again, it is nothing but religious exercise. Sex can be abstained from during fasting and will be mutual, by mutual agreement. And as soon as you end your fasting, both of you should also come together again to avoid the tempter who is always lurking around. The Bible says the enemy, our adversary, is roaring around, seeking who he may devour. Can I tell you something? Your marriage bed pure. Don't embrace the bosom of a strange woman or a strange man. It does not matter what they present to you, what they say to you, keep your marriage pure. And let me speak to our singles. Sex is healthy only in the confines of marriage. Don't open yourself up to every tongue, dick and harry out there. 
preserve yourself, keep your marriage bed on the fight, no cohabitation, no premarital sex, and you'll see how God will reward you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Join us again, same time, next time, in Jesus' name.